So one way to help strengthen your adductor muscles, or the ones on the inside of your thigh, are going to be with an isometric adductor ball squeeze. You want to make sure you're using a ball that's small enough so you can retain a good shoulder width posture, so something along the lines of a basketball, a small medicine ball, or a soccer ball will work best. Now, the first variation is going to be with the ball about at your ankles, so squeezing it just on the inside of your thighs. You're going to go lying flat all the way down to the floor, and now once you're lying here, you're going to slightly turn your toes in towards one another. What that's going to do is counteract external rotation or overcompensate out of external rotation, which is a position we find ourselves in most commonly because the muscles on the outside of your hips and legs usually predominate the ones on the inside portion. So once you're lying on your backside here, toes pointed in towards one another, your goal is to try to squeeze the ball as well as squeezing the inside of your thighs towards one another. And you're going to hold that squeeze for 10 long seconds or five big cycles of inhale and exhale breath. Now, once you're set with those 10 breaths, what you can do is move the ball further up your body. So, taking the ball now from between my thighs, or I'm sorry, between my ankles, slotting up now to be just on the inside of my knees. Now, you can do that same variation where your back is flat to the floor and your legs are extended, or what you can do at this point is let your knees draw up and feet come flat to the floor. If you choose here, mechanism is still going to be the same. You're just going to be able to get a little bit more force pressed into the ball. So from here, what I'm going to do is make sure my back is flat. So I'm going to try and tuck my belly button towards my face. And then from here, same thing. It's going to be five long cycles of breath or 10 seconds of how tightly I can squeeze onto this ball as if I'm trying to crack it in half with the muscles on the insides of my thighs. and then a long rest. All right. Now the third variation here, if those first two are comfortable, is going to be with the ball in that same exact position, we're now going to add in a little bit more of an anterior core engagement. So just adding a little more supplement. All you'll do is you'll go into this right angle, so just going a little bit more into hip flexion. And now your goal is to point your toes up towards you so you remain active. And again, that gentle t rotation in of your legs, so avoiding external rotation. So once I'm here, my toes are going to point slightly in towards one another. Just to emphasize, internal rotation. And then from here again, once your back is flat, so belly button's tucked towards me, I'm locking my core and midsection in as if I'm about to go into a dead bug. And then same thing, 10 long breaths. So applying pressure into the ball, drawing my back down into the floor, five long cycles of breath. 